Hey guys, in a video I did five years ago, I showed you how to modify your AR drone to work an RC transmitter like the DX6i. It worked by translating the commands from your receiver and then sending it via Wi-Fi through an Arduino board. Shortly after I did uh, the video, a new and better mod by Miru came out and I also converted my drone to the mod I think it was at 06, 006 at the time. It completely eliminated the Wi-Fi altogether. In this video, I'll give you an idea what, what's involved. It's a supplement to the documentation that's already available online. I only have an AR drone 1.0, so I can't demonstrate how it works on the 2.0, but it's very similar. So recently, I upgraded the AR drone 1.0 to the latest version of the mirror mod, which is uh, 022, and I figure I might as well do an updated video while I'm at it. So I replaced the yellow jacket with a Arduino Pro Mini instead because the yellow jacket actually has a Wi-Fi uh, built into it, and I don't need it anymore. And I reused a lot of parts from the previous um, mod back in 2010. There will be a lot of soldering or soldering, so if it's not something you're comfortable with, you can also buy the mod online, it's already done for you, and all you really have to do is just plug it up to the drone and you're ready to go. However, if you like modding, then this would be a lot of fun. Like I mentioned before, the mirror mod is a much better mod in that it plugs directly into the connector on the bottom of your AR drone, and it interfaces directly with your receiver. Since there's no need for Wi-Fi, it's a direct connection, so there's less latency. Another benefit is that you could just unplug the cable and it's back to factory, so it's a very clean solution. So the parts you're going to need for this mod is a Arduino Pro Mini. I originally used a yellow jacket, and I was able to upload version 006 on it, and it worked fine, I think, four or five years ago, but I couldn't get the latest version on here, so instead of troubleshooting it, I just decided to use a uh, Arduino Pro Mini. And I got the 5 volt uh, 328 version. You'll need a FTI uh, programming board. This interfaces with your Arduino Pro Mini and then it allows you to uh, program it. You'll also need a radio transmitter that has at least five channels. I'm using the Spectrum DX6i and that works pretty well. Um, obviously you'll need compatible receivers that work with your radio. You could buy the RX, uh, Orange RX ones or an original uh, Spectrum one. I'm using the AR6200 for this project. And to interface your Arduino Pro Mini with your receiver, you'll need some servo extension wires. You need about seven of them. And to create the cable to interface with your AR drone and the Arduino Pro Mini, you'll need a uh, junk USB cable. USB cables are great because they have four wires in it, just the exact amount of wires you need for this, uh, this mod. So depending on which AR drone you have, you'll need a header to connect to the bottom of the drone. Uh, AR drone version 1.0 uses has a male header pins on the board itself, so you'll need female headers. And on the newer new versions, 2.0 and up, they use uh, they have a female header, which means that you'll need a male header. And these header pins are two millimeters, so make sure you get the right size. Before we start, update your firmware on your AR drone using the free flight application. The very first thing we're going to do is program the Arduino Pro Mini with the FTDI breakout board and in order to do that we need to solder a header onto it. You can usually buy a row of these for about a couple of dollars and then all we need to do is break away six of them to solder onto the Arduino board itself. After attaching the header pins, you can start programming it. Plug the FTDI breakout board to the Arduino Pro and then hook it up via the mini USB cable up to your computer. When you first plug up your FTDI breakout board to your Windows 7 PC, it should automatically download and install the drivers. If it doesn't, go to the website and download it and it should show up as a COM port and make note of that. We're going to be programming it with the Arduino application, so download the latest version from their website. First thing you want to do is go to the preferences and turn on verbose mode. So make sure both these options are checked off. This will let you know if you do run into errors, you'll get to see them. And then you want to set the board. I am using an Arduino Pro Mini and select that. Next, choose your processor at mega 328 5 volt 16 megahertz and the COM port that the FTDI breakout board is connected to, which is COM port 5. Next, you add a sketch file. So download the latest version of the mirror mod at the time of this video, it's 022. 
open up the sketch and here we go. This is where you edit the switches for your transmitter. I'm using a DX6i, so the one I'm using is right here. If you have a DX7, you would use that. And if you have any other transmitter, I'm not sure of, but play around with that. So here, SLAN, that's the landing switch. I'm gonna use the gear switch on the DX6i and the flight mode will be auxiliary one. There's other settings you can modify, but that's pretty much all you need to modify to get going. And next thing you do is hit upload. It'll start to compile your sketch and then send it to the Arduino Pro. Here you can see that it is uploading to your Arduino Pro. The light should blink really quickly. After the lights stop blinking, you should be done and we're ready for the next step. The next thing we'll do is solder the servo extension leads to your Arduino Pro to interface with your receiver. Here's a diagram of the wires we're going to be soldering. Essentially the six signal wires, throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, gear, and auxiliary, as well as the battery and ground terminals. So we're going to start off by soldering the auxiliary cable. And then the next thing we're going to do is solder the throttle signal cable. And now we're going to solder the gear signal. And then rudder. Elevator. And finally aileron. Here we connect the battery and ground wires. I decided to keep them separate. However, you could have also just used one of the signal extension wires like the auxiliary one to carry the ground and battery wires as well. Snip off any wires that are too long and we're ready for the next step. In order to set up and test your drone, you need to put it into setup mode. Solder a right angle connector to pin 11 with a removable cable on ground. This way you can unplug it when flying and put it back into setup mode when needed. Next we'll make a cable that plugs the AR drone to your Arduino board. I'm using a micro USB cable, so find one that you can cut up. USB cables work great since they have the four wires we need. Like I mentioned before, it depends on which version of the drone you have. Version 1.0 has a seven pin male connector on the board and will need a female header. 2.0 has a nine pin female header and will need male connectors. The latest drones with the five pin female headers will also need male connectors. Even though the connectors are different, they only use four of the pins. However, the newer 2.0 drones will require a logic level converter to supply the right voltage, while the older 1.0 drones only need a 4.7K resistor. I have version 1.0 and I'll show you how to make one for that. Making them for other versions is a similar process. My AR drone 1.0 will need a two millimeter seven pin female header. I blocked the unused pin with hot glue so I can't plug it in backwards. I also removed the pins that are needed. Next, connect the four eyes to the pins, making note of which color wire goes where for later referral. Separate the pins so they don't short. Apply a lot of hot glue to prevent the wires from touching and also for added protection. And that's all it takes to make the wire. Next, we'll solder the cable we just made to the Arduino Pro Mini. AR Drones version 1.0 will need a 4.7K ohm resistor. The new AR Drone 2.0s will need a logic level converter or you'll fry it. So check out the online documentation for more information. Unfortunately, my camera battery died, but you get the idea. Connect the remaining wires from the cable you just made to the Arduino board. Remember to bind your receiver to your transmitter before connecting everything up. You can now connect the Arduino Pro Mini to your receiver making sure you plug the signal and power wires in the right direction. Ground pin 11 to put your board into setup mode and then we can use hyper terminal to monitor the serial output. 
start hyper terminal and then we're going to create a new connection call it mirror mod we're going to select the com port that your ftdi breakup board is connected to select 115200 8 bits no parity one stop bit and no flow control or handshaking Next, go into Properties, and in the Settings section, we're going to change it to NCW. Click OK. And once you hit Control B, it'll start monitoring the serial connection. To make sure the controls are doing what they're supposed to do, we use the serial monitor to check it. When both your sticks are in the middle, they should read zero. When the throttle stick is at the lowest point, it should be negative. When the throttle stick is at the highest point, it should be positive. When the rudder stick is left, it should read negative. When the rudder stick is right, it should be positive. When the elevator stick is up, it should be negative. When the elevator stick is down, it should be positive. When aileron is to the left, it should be negative. When aileron is to the right, it should be positive. When you flick the switch, it should land. And that's how you know that everything is working properly. If the controls aren't doing what they're supposed to do, then you need to go to your servo reversing and change it. This is what I have for my Spectrum DX6i. The aileron, elevator, and rudder channels are reversed. The rest are normal. Also make sure your travel adjustments are correct. And that should be it. Once you make all the changes to your transmitter and test it out with your serial monitor, you can plug up the components to your AR drone and do a test flight. My cable was too bulky so I had to make a new 3D printed bottom cover. The SDL will be in the description if you need to print one as well. Thank you.